Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Word with Art. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is, um, without doubt, um, non-negotiable. This is the hardest challenge that we're going to do so far. And we're already uh, only uh, on April 4th, okay? So this is going to be a doozy. Um, buckle your seatbelts, guys, because what is the goal for today? To try to get more yellow tiles than green tiles, okay? Now, I... Um, I did this countless times for practice. Um, I would say at least 100. And I would say my success rate was about 40 to 45%, something like that. So basically, I have pretty close to a 50% chance of failing this thing, either by failing to um, solve the challenge or even to lose my streak. Both are at stake here. Now, if we get into a situation where it seems dire, I am going to pull the ripcord and I'm just going to go with um, you know, something that I think is correct and try to preserve the streak because I think um, today we'll make it 99 and tomorrow will be 100, okay? All right, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here on this very, very crazy, difficult challenge. Now, my strategy um, is, to do, is to actually start with slates. Um, we don't run the risk of, oh, sweet, look at that, guys. We already have two yellows. This is fantastic. So my logic for the strategy was, Obviously, we do not run the risk of getting a hole in one because slate was a previously used word. And then I was thinking, let's play off of my knowledge base from my algorithm of all the second word suggestions because, again, I feel like for a lot of these strategies, the key is to try to know as soon as possible what the solution is, and then you can kind of, you know, play around with it and start to shuffle the letters around to get lots of yellows, all right? Now, in this particular case... Um, we would go with, uh, let me think about this. Okay, I think it's taint. Yeah, it would be taint is the one that we go with. Now, here's the deal. This is extremely risky, okay? Because taint has not been used. It could be the answer. It would be hilarious to get. I would be really pissed off if I got this in two, okay? Because obviously I would have completely failed the challenge because I will get five greens and then the two yellows. But I'm willing to take that risk because the chances of getting it are like, you know, I wouldn't be like, you know, too terrible. I don't know. But um, it's going to really help me, you know, place these letters and then track down what the word is and then hopefully waste a few rows to just fool around with them to get lots of yellow. So we will go with taint. Okay, thank God. All oh, right, excellent. And look at this, guys. We're on, we have four yellows and a green. All right. So now I'm going to have to start thinking about what this word could be. We've got three of the five letters, which is great. Um, and, oh, this is not bad at all because we obviously are going to have to – oh, we know where the T goes. Well, uh, yes, we do. Look, guys, we know where the T goes. This is fantastic. It looks like this. In fact, I think we can safely say that the I will go here. So our word looks like this. Oh, this is great. So now what I'm going to do, my next strategy is – to play off of this structure and get at least another letter, but not put it in what I think the correct location would be to confirm what the answer would be and then do some sort of unscramble. All right. Now, first off, um, here's a couple words that come to mind. It could be patio. Okay. Patio would be good. It could be ratio. All right. So we need to work with the P, the R, and the O. And uh, what else? Patio and ratio. I think are looking really good. Yeah. I'm really liking patio and ratio. So let's think about this. We could do um, patio and ratio. Okay. Now this would be oh this would be kind of cute oh shoot but the thing is if it is patio I don't want that P to be green so what if I just did something like um, crops whoops crops okay so let's think about this the um, the R will be out of position obviously so that'll if it's ratio that'll come up yellow uh, the O should be out of position because we determined that it's the T is going to be third. The P should be out of position. So I should accumulate at least a couple more yellows and no green. So let's go with crops. Yes! 
We got it, guys. We got it. Oh, my gosh. Now the rest is just, you know, this is just sort of like our victory lap. Now we can have fun. Let's go overboard, all right? So I'm going to create a brand new challenge within the challenge. Let's see who can beat me on the number of uh, yellows versus greens, okay? So this is fantastic. So our answer is ratio, okay? It's ratio. Um, oh, that is so cool. So we could do... By the way, actually, we could also be efficient. Now, if I were to put ratio in right now, okay, then I would have six greens and, uh, oh, and then I'd have six yellows. It would be completely even, okay? So we do not, under any circumstances, want to put ratio in right now, do we? No, we don't, okay? We would lose the challenge, but we would keep the streak. All right, so we can have some fun here. So we know it's ratio. Um, we could do, oh, goodness, let's see here. We're just going to have some fun, guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Oh, this worked out beautifully. My strategy worked, guys. I can't believe it. We're going to just have that one rogue A sitting there plus the five for the solution. And now we can just have some fun filling this up with some yellow. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, we could do uh, We could do fruit. You know, I'm not saying that... Uh, this is going to be uh, terrific, but, uh, oh, we, we would get a yellow eye, so we want to be careful. We don't want to do that, right? Or we would get a green eye because the eye is going to go forth. So we don't want to do fruit. Um, how about if we did, um, I mean, we could do something silly like, okay, how about Fritz? That's not bad. That'll get me three more yellows, won't it? And then I think I'll just finish it off and go, and go with ratio. So let's just double check. Uh, yep, R will be out of position. I is obviously out of position. And T. So we get three more yellows. Look at that. Now let's just double check. So when we put ratio in, we'll have five greens plus the A is six. And I'll have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're, we're safe. I think we're going to get this, guys. Are we ready? Ah, if I could just type it. Ratio? Yes! Woo! Sweet! And pretty time efficient. And look at this, guys. We preserve our streak. Tomorrow, hopefully, if all goes well. Oh, by the way, stick around. I'm about to announce tomorrow's challenge. It's going to be probably, I would say, roughly at the same level of this. Um, but this is fantastic. So we have a 99-game winning streak. And yeah, and just look at that. That was absolutely played perfectly. Okay. So yeah, we have a total of six greens and yellows are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we beat it by three. That's pretty cool. Yeah, of course I could have done, I could have been cute and put another row of Fritz in there. Um, but I, you know, there's something to be said for, you know, not trying to, uh, to gloat and just, you know, solve it efficiently and be done with it, right? We solved the challenge. Let's move on. Speaking of which, guys, are you ready for the challenge for tomorrow, which will be world number 650? Five, I believe, um, for April fifth. Yeah, hopefully I'm getting. Hopefully I got my wordle number correct. All right, so let's just move this aside so we have a little bit of space, and um, yeah, and then I'm going to show you what's on tap for tomorrow, guys. I think it's going to be equ equally difficult in a sense. Um, but here we go. Are you ready, guys? This is something that I hinted at when I was announcing the April challenge. <laughs> We're going to have fun in Hawaii, all right? We're going to have fun in Hawaii. I know for a fact that we've got a wonderful member, uh, Michelle Lam, uh, who, I believe, who I believe lives in Hawaii. So I think she's going to excel on this one. What are we going to do, guys? We're going to use words that have the letters from the Hawaiian alphabet, okay? So here's the deal. First off, what are the letters in the Hawaiian alphabet for those who aren't familiar? They include all of our five traditional vowels, A, E, uh, I, O, and U. And then they include the following seven consonants, uh, H, K, L, M, N, P, and W, okay? So here's the rules of the challenge. Using those 12 letters, you have to include within your solution path, are you ready? This is going to be tough. Th three, at least three words that contain only those letters from the Hawaiian alphabet, all right? It is going to be really hard. There's no doubt. Um, the, on the plus side, at least you can come up with a clever strategy to make sure that those three words include all the vowels. That shouldn't be too hard. 
And obviously, the strategy is kind of similar to the one that we had two days ago with the JQXZ. You want to try to come up with an efficient way to get those three words down and then hope that that gives you enough information to solve the uh, solve it with only three guesses left, okay? And of course, uh, it is possible that you could get it. Now, one little side note, I guess, to the rule, and that is if one of your guesses happens to be the answer, but you did not do all three, so let's just say by luck, I'll give an example, uh, plain, okay? So plain would actually be one of the words that you could form from the Hawaiian alphabet. And let's suppose that you did your first word, uh, how about whole? That would be another good one, W-H-O-L-E. So you went whole, and then you went plain, and then bam, plain lit up uh, all greens and you got it in two. That would still count, okay? Because that would not really be your fault. Um, you tried and honored the rules of the game, uh, but it turned out that you ended up, of course, with um, the answer, and that's fine. So that will be okay, even though you didn't get three words. But until that were to happen, you must make sure that you use at least three. Chances are that one of these words is the answer is very low anyway, right, guys? Okay, so hopefully those rules make sense. Bottom line is you have to have in your solution path, I need to clearly see three words that use exclusively Hawaiian letters. And if any one of those words includes something else like an S or a T or an R, and you try to pull a fast one, sorry guys, that's not going to compute, okay? That will not work and that will be um, a failed challenge. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys are having super fun. I would say that the difficulty level on this Hawaiian one is almost going to be the same as this one. Um, this one was the type where as long as you just practice, 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 you're going to get it. And boy, that practice paid off big time here for me. I am psyched because it could have easily been a disaster. I just got lucky because we used the strategy of going with sleet and Taint thankfully uh, pulled it off for us. Uh, this Hawaiian one, dude, um, I'm going to just say is going to be really hard because you're consuming three, um, three of them no matter what. But I don't think it should be much worse when, than the JQXZ now that I think about it. Well, in any case, we're going to find out tomorrow, right, guys? So have fun. And as always, if anything's a little confusing about the setup for the challenge, always just ask me in the, um, in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer. And I think we're doing great so far. With that in mind, guys, I hope you have a great day. And yes, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with yet another edition of Wordle with Art.